the light is fading. I sense a darkness prowling that stirs the memory of a night long past. The night I watched the devil standing over God as judge, jury, and executioner. The night our war was won. Your fate is sealed, thus you pour out your wrath on his most beloved creation. The Lord rebuke thee. Oh, how you have fallen from heaven, O oh, Lucifer, son of the morning. You were on the holy mountain. You walked back and forth among the fiery stones. You saw the face of God. Legions, flee, or meet your judgment at my blade. Hello, I am Andrew Lowen, and this is Deliverance. You play an elite angel from the army of heaven, and you have come down to a modern day town that is rife with demonic activity. You must battle these demons in physical combat while at the same time holding back the darkness that is bleeding into the spiritual realm from the physical realm around you. Deliverance has two modes of play, a story-driven campaign or a skirmish mode that you can just sit down with your friends and play a game without having to worry about staging a whole campaign. We're gonna go over a skirmish. After you're finished staging your map tiles, you're gonna draw one battle card per player. These battle cards will teach you how to stage a battle. So we're gonna set our angels, we're gonna set our demons, and then we're gonna place saints on the board. Play proceeds clockwise among angels, and demons will act in their initiative order, which was determined by the drawing of the battle cards. So at the top of a round, you take one darkness card per player and put it face down on the darkness track. Then, beginning at the first player to act, uses two actions, all determined by what actions are listed on your character card. I'm going to move, and then I'm going to use my Typhoon Spear to knock this guy out. Those were my two actions. After an angel has acted, it's always followed by the next demon in initiative order. So these demons are gonna move and attack uh, according to a number determined by their uh, decision tree on their character card. And then all of the angels and demons act. We move into the darkness phase where status effects resolve, darkness cards activate, battle continues in this manner until either all of the demons are defeated or all of the angels are defeated. And if you beat the final boss, you win deliverance. Animo Living Deck Bible Verse Game is back with a new addition to the series. Discover new Animo, encounter nasty sinnies, meet new friends, and learn more Bible verses in Animo Cross Trainers. The Cross Trainers expansion introduces 144 all new collectible playing cards, including new powers, equipment, story cards, new Animo characters, and now introducing the Truth Seekers. Each Animo character portrays a virtuous attribute, accompanied by a supporting scripture verse. Each Sinny portrays a sin, vice, or hindrance, along with a Bible verse which empowers players to overcome these struggles in their own lives. To play, each player will choose a strategy deck, or customize their own by mixing and matching any combination of cards from the growing Animo library. Select a Truth Seeker, whose special ability complements your style of play. Invite Animo into your small group. Help them to grow spiritually. Equip them to unlock new abilities. Finally, harness the power of faith, hope, love, and now the Holy Spirit to activate your Animo's virtuous acts and score virtue points. Utilize the fellowship bonus to unleash powerful combos. Should your opponent reveal a sin in your life, 
You'll need to overcome the specific effects of that Sinny and defeat it before you'll be able to score any points. The player who's first to either defeat six Sinnies or score 60 Virtue Points wins the game. Taylor, uh, you don't know me, but I think you're supposed to help me. <laughs> and, and I know that sounds weird, but all week I've been having these uh, premonitions, I guess, and I was trying to ignore them, but what if they're important, you know? So I thought, okay, if I need to act on these clues I've been getting, then I need a sign to confirm it. And then you're like, show came on, and you said, hi, this is Taylor. My middle name is Taylor, so I think you're my guide. Um, I'm going to keep listening to you for more clues, okay? Bye. Disciple Detective is a two to four player cooperative or competitive deduction game centered around the disciples from the Bible. Each player must deduce the disciples in their own hand without being able to see the front of their cards. Players must give each other clues about the known traits of the disciples they see in the other player's hands. Those receiving clues can take notes on the back of their cards, but to make life more difficult, some disciples have quirks, which are their own special tweaks to the game rules. Assisting each player are the disciple reference sheets that list all characteristics of the disciples, which will help the players give and receive clues. 
In the cooperative version of Disciple Detective, each player starts with their own deck of cards from which they draw their hand. The timer flips over and the starting player must then decide whether to give a trait clue to the other players, to order all of the disciples in each player's hands, or to guess one of their own disciples. Clue tokens are used every time a clue is given or a player guesses a disciple incorrectly. If the players ever need to discard a clue token but none are left, everyone loses. The players win if they, as a team, deduce all the disciples in the game. The competitive version of Disciple Detective plays similarly to the cooperative game except each player is trying to guess their own disciples before anyone else does. In this version, the player chooses the clues their opponent will give to them. Disciple Detective is easy to pick up and can also be mind-bending to play. Games are quick, around 15 to 20 minutes of playtime. The suggested ages is 14 and up, but the game can be simplified to be played by children as young as 10. The game is also a great way to learn the names and traits of the disciples of the Bible. Meow, 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 meow.
Corpse Cat, a hilarious game of luck and spite, and lots of dead cats. What's up, Adam's Ascending fans? It's your solo developer here, Nick DiPaolo, working on Adam's Ascending. I got a super special announcement for you today. And that announcement is that we're gonna push Adam's Ascending back only one month. We're just gonna push it back one month because as you may know, maybe you don't, the game is in early access and this is my first game. I've been working on it for five years and you know, I'm balancing kids, uh, family life, work life, and the game. That announcement has come from a deep place. So we're pushing the game back out one month because that's gonna give me time to be able to work on any little bugs that I see, uh, help improve the frame rate, you know, the overall gist of what games take to make that. And I just wanna make it so I could get the best package out there for you in September, even though it's early access, even though it's episode one, but I wanna do the best I can do. And plus this frees me up to do some marketing with the game beforehand. So thank you for your patience. Thank you for guiding me and, and giving me encouragement through this journey. And I hope I'm inspiring you through this journey. Go do your dream, do everything you can, make it happen, gotta get back to work, see ya. on the airship Genesis and join in the legendary Bible adventures of the Genesis Exploration Squad. Enemies made it this far. We will too. What is this place? Dare I believe you come for justice sake? And do you come in Elothos' name? Sure. Let's say we did. There. Follow that creature. And may all the seven go with you.
A. A. A is for Adam. B. B. B is for Benjamin. C. K. C is for Caleb. D. D. D is for Daniel. E. E. G. G. G is for God, the creator of animals, people, the whole world, and everything in it. Each page of the Bible reveals the love that God has for you. Behold the wonder and prosperity of the dawn of civilization. Built through the millennia by the pharaohs of old around the life-giving Nile River. Upon the backs of countless downtrodden slaves. But the Hebrew slaves became much too numerous, and Pharaoh began to fear them. It is said, nothing is more humiliating than being helpless. And so, Pharaoh went about the task of making them helpless. But even though helpless, they were not hopeless. Hearing their cries, their savior came to them, the God of the slaves. The name's Yalu. I'm a soldier. Some of Pharaoh's slaves need a little persuasion to keep working, and my kopesh is known to be persuasive. These slaves follow a man named Moses, some troublemaking rabble-rouser. I bartered use of the second floor of this home to keep an eye on him. I wonder what he's up to now. And because of that, Pharaoh has officially summoned you. Don't keep him waiting. Do you take us for feeble old men? Come, brother. Let's go. They're headed out now. I should follow them out of sight. I'll start by jumping down to the road and hiding behind the stalls. Nebit, they're going through the busy market over there. Yes, I saw. It is no use trying to follow them through there. We'd lose them among all of those people. If our boss finds out, we'll be hearing about it for days. Mm. Yes, you're right. What do you think we should do? Let me climb onto this building and follow them from the rooftops. Meet up with me once the way through the market clears. Very well. I'm counting.
I'm sorry. There were too many. I couldn't kill everyone. But I promise you, all of this will soon be over. He comes, our savior, who will free us from the hands of our enemies. Crushed him with an iron scepter, a warlord, a magnificent king, a giant. <laughs> Tobias Rousseau. One of the most evil persons I've ever lived. You're sure Tobias Rousseau is evil, are you? We know that from history. You'll need to dig deeper. A medallion. I captured a memory, and that caused a gate to open. Get down! Oh no, I'm still angry inside. And so our scout journey began, but getting safely to the winsome wraith proved more difficult than even Captain Robin could have predicted. For the foes they faced were vast, 
and not just in number. It would take every ounce of guile, courage, and strength for the two brave mice to find their way past these perils before time ran out. Love is patient. Love is full of hope. Love is gracious. Love is full of trust. But most importantly, Love is. There had never been a storm as strong as this. It was as if the one king himself was abound in flight. As the storm faded away, the crew searched for their captain, but alas, he was gone. The crew took the Seraphima upstream, deep into the woods where its secrets would never be found. For the loss of Captain Fallon brought anguish to each of their hearts and upon our shores. But his symbol lives on, through the luminaries that now carry his torch for the free creatures. Tyrants driven by selfish gain ravish the lands, air, and waters. Their hordes take and destroy beyond the borders established at the beginning of our world. Using their wits, our fellow luminaries each have their own set of skills and talents that can assist in bringing allies to our aid, supporting them in one another, or be able to take the brunt of the dangers ahead. Sadly, not every creature out there feels the same as we do, but maybe with some convincing, they can come around. There are always mercies to be shown. Our luminaries are now fighting back to bring justice and peace to our world. We will need the favor of the One King, for the territories are just as dangerous as the beasts that have invaded. The longer we tarry to find these tyrants, the tighter they grip the lands and creatures. Every creature has a purpose and a reason for being. Mine is to guide those who are willing to serve and protect our homes and the homes of those that may not even care for them. Though we are different species and from different backgrounds, we have a common goal that the One King has put in every heart. Not just survival, but love, beauty, and peace. you know now, are you ready for an adventure? Thank you.